Hello everyone, welcome to the High Strength Channel. Today we will discuss the US upgrading the F-22 stealth fighter jet massively for the war against China. The United States Air Force US F-22 Raptor stealth jet has received a major upgrade. According to a report by The Telegraph, it is in preparation for a future war against China. The upgrade to the iconic aircraft, claimed to be the best fighter jet in the world, comes as it approaches its third decade of frontline service and retirement. The Lockheed Martin-built F-22 is the most powerful and advanced fighter in the world, but it has its weaknesses. Recognizing the limitations of the F-22, especially in terms of range, the American Air Force is accelerating the twin-engine, single-seat jet towards early retirement. At the same time, the aviation branch is spending billions of dollars to ensure that once the Raptor is retired, something better a jet that avoids radar without the major problems of the F-22 is ready to replace it. Many observers of the U.S. Air Force have complained about the Raptor's planned early retirement, less than 30 years after the aircraft was deployed on its first frontline operation. It is not unusual for modern American fighters, such as Lockheed Martin's S-16 or Boeing's F-15, to fly for 40 years or more, with upgrades of course. According to a report by The Telegraph on Friday, 29-3-2024, that the United States Air Force USAF, is so eager to replace its best fighters says a lot about how and where USAF leaders anticipate future wars will take place, in particular, at great distances over the vast western Pacific Ocean, for example, during a Chinese attack on Taiwan. The USAF is betting that the warplane designed to replace the F-22 will be better suited to such conflicts. The USD 300 million per unit F-22 had a long development period. It grew out of the Advanced Tactical Fighter Initiative in the 1980s, first flew in demonstration form in 1990, completed development in 2005, first deployed to Japan in 2006, and completed production of only 195 aircraft in 2012. It reportedly conducted its first shots in anger during the aerial bombing campaign against ISIS in 2014. Today, they are routinely deployed to the Pacific region to deter China and to Europe to deter Russia. Despite its futuristic, hard-to-detect shape and incredible performance, it can supercharge at twice the speed of sound without triggering a fuel-hungry afterburn. At its core, the F-22 is a Cold War jet. Lockheed Martin designed it to fight the Soviet Union from bases in Europe, which meant poor endurance was not an issue. An F-22 is only capable of traveling about 600 miles on internal fuel, far enough to fight Germany and Poland. The problem is, it won't take U.S. troops far across the vast Pacific. The Pentagon's closest air base for the Taiwan War, Kadena in Japan, is 700 miles away. If Kadena is destroyed by Chinese missiles, the next closest major base Misawa, also in Japan, is 1,400 miles away. It is not for nothing that, in planning the air war in Taiwan, USF officers are increasingly ignoring the F-22 and other fighters and instead calculating the optimal way for long-range heavy bombers to counter the Chinese invasion force. For the same reason, last year, USF leaders announced that they want to retire about 150 units of the latest F-22 fleet in a few years starting in 2030 while halting production of 30 or so older training models early next year and shifting pilot instruction to newer jets. Shortening the F-22's career could save billions of dollars that will help the USAF accelerate the development and production of the secretive next-generation air dominance, NGAD fighter. Early test models of NGAD jets have been flying since 2020, but the public still doesn't know what they look like or what they do. What the public does know is that the USAF estimates the new aircraft will surpass the F-22's stealth and sensor capabilities and, more importantly, double its range. The NGAD fighter is a fighter capable of fighting against China, more so than the F-22 ever was. But the price is not cheap. 
The USAF estimates it will spend USD $5 billion per year for the next four years just to complete development and billions more to produce the jets starting around 2030. Given the high cost, it is no wonder that the NGAD program has been delayed. The USAF is already preparing for it. That's why years ago, they paid to develop a pair of important new additions that will help keep the F-22 Raptor relevant for years to come. Special fuel tanks under the wings shaped to minimize radar range that could add hundreds of miles to the F-22's range, as well as a new pod for highly sensitive infrared sensors that would allow the F-22 to detect targets without turning on radar and potentially give away its own position. The new fuel tank and sensor pod first appeared publicly on the F-22 in a blurry photo, apparently from an Air Force test site, that circulated last week. These add-ons are of the utmost importance in the air war against China. They make long-range flights over open water a little more feasible for the short-range F-22 Raptor. With the new fuel tanks under the wings of the F-22, NGAD jets are becoming less important to the USAF. Emphasis on little. The F-22's poor endurance has always been its biggest weakness. Replacing the jet as quickly as possible is and should be a top priority for the world's leading air force.